Lawmakers celebrate the oldest state law enforcement agency today at the U.S. Capitol. That's right. The Texas Rangers have service for 200 years now. Anna Warnicke takes us to the commemoration. The Texas Rangers started protecting the Lone Star State even before Texas joined the Union. They captured bandits and burglars, solved some of the most complicated criminal uh, cases to ever exist. Texas Republican Congressman Brian Babin joined his colleagues on the steps of the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday to celebrate the state's oldest law enforcement agency's 200th anniversary. It's what we all grew up with. Congressman Michael Burgess says since the Rangers were created in 1823, They've captured outlaws and stopped an assassination attempt against President Taft. Now, as members of the Texas Department of Public Safety, the Rangers continue fighting crime and corruption in their iconic cowboy hats. When the Texas Rangers came on the case, those of us who were just regular citizens felt like the situation is under control. On Wednesday, Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz honored the Rangers on the Senate floor, introducing a resolution to pay tribute to their two centuries of service. The Rangers are always ready to step in and serve. And Texas Ranger Captain James Thomas joined lawmakers, saying the Rangers are still the front line of the Texas frontier, leading the state's border security program and providing direct support to U.S. Border Patrol. We have 1,254 miles of border. The Texas Rangers have, with, with Mexico, that we've had an opportunity to serve and, and protect that border as we still do today. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. And continuing on with their coverage, the Texas Rangers are rarely in this limelight, but on its 200th year anniversary, Texas is honoring them. Yeah, the Texas Ranger 2023 organization is putting on a tour to commemorate officers and raise awareness. Fox 44's Hannah Hoover caught up with the chairman of the group to find out more. 2023 is a big year for the Texas Rangers as they celebrate 200 years of service. All year long, there will be events to pay tribute to the legacy of the Texas Rangers. The Texas Ranger 2023 Bicentennial Organization Tour will make its way to San Antonio, Houston, and Waco, just to name a few stops. If you think about the Rangers, you never see them at the microphone. They're always behind the scenes. They're not taking the accolades. The Rangers are leaders in border security, tactical operations, and crisis negotiations. Their innovations have made a major impact nationally. A lot of the things that the FBI actually now utilizes for mass shootings and going into the crime scene, the Rangers are the ones that developed it and they have adapted to that. For every position that opens, over 100 DPS officers apply. To be a Ranger, it's truly the elite of the elite the best of the best, where they provide these rural agencies the expertise for them to be able to do the investigation in regards to these violent crimes. The Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum in Waco serves to educate the public on its history, attracting people from all around the world. The museum was founded in 1964. The potential of that heritage and legacy needing to be preserved. The Texas Ranger 2023 organization is raising funds for a complete DPS memorial, a mobile Texas Rangers museum, and scholarships for active Rangers children. Events will not only honor the history and impact of the Texas Rangers, but also serve to educate the public on the modern day Texas Ranger and DPS. In Waco, Hannah Hoover, Fox 44 News.